Hey guys, my name is Ismael. So I've made this cathedral that I know some of you might be interested in checking out. So you can go over to my Patreon page, uh, that is patreon.com slash top channel one on one uh, to get it for yourself if you want it. Uh, it also supports the channel and uh, helps me pay some bills while giving you something in return as well. Or you can just get it on my CG Trader account, cgtrader.com slash IsmaelZVFX. Uh, dive in and uh, I talk about it a little bit. So let's uh, just break it down a bit. Um, first hide outside walls. Uh, you can see how uh, this looks on the inside. Uh, so I didn't want to use volumetrics, uh, so I picked uh, these gold rays and uh, uh, by just using a noise texture and also animated it a bit. I just saw that uh, it can have a, a slight bit of animation. Uh, basically what I did is I just used a noise uh, texture let me start here. It's just a straight out noise and also used a car ramp, give it high contrast and uh, then used a gradient texture. Let me just, so a gradient texture at hope blend uh, the, the god rays so that they don't cut off uh, like you see here, cut off abruptly like there and I can control the amount of god rays you have and how early they fade are using this. To add in some noise detail into the gold rays, I just added a noise texture here. You can see how that looks. I gave it a, a car ramp for contrast and then a math mode uh, just to have a bit of control uh, the level of detail I'm getting. And I use the color band uh, to mix it uh, with the gold rays uh, to add in some noise details uh, that you see there. And I used a mix shader with a translucent, a translucent and a transparency a shader uh, to get uh, this. Then if you're using Eevee, all you have to do is make sure you turn on uh, alpha blend and uh, no shadow uh, so that it doesn't create any shadows, but uh, remains transparent as well. So, so there are a few tricks you can add. And uh, now for this glass window, as I said, I'm just going to do a quick breakdown but you can watch the entire time lapse of how i created this uh, by watching this video here i'll be leaving a link in the description so the way i made these window glass windows are uh, they're very simple so what they are is that just a simple translucent material with a glass uh, material mixed mixed into it and just to get a, some some slight reflections and uh, when you have a translucent material you can have a light behind uh, that object and uh, it will seem like uh, yeah translucent as uh, you can see again you can download the project on uh, my patreon page or on cg trader to examine the project even further uh, everything else is very basic and simple as you will see in the time lapse let me just first turn off some of these light settings uh, for these pillars i wanted to keep things a bit simple uh, so what i did you can see it's just a single uh, pillar like this and then i add a mirror modifier uh, with the X and Y axis turned on and also bisect turned on. So if I don't have bisect turned on, this is how it looks and uh, you have a lot of intersecting meshes and uh, when you turn on bisect and flip the axes, you just get, let me just go to the top view, you get this uh, shape here which is, I think, uh, looks nice. So if I turn off this, you see how much intersection we're getting. And I only have one mesh uh, that is uh, moved out to the side uh, to get that uh, four pillars uh, merged uh, together like that. Yeah, so for the, uh, for the arches here, uh, this might be the most difficult parts to model in this uh, scene, but uh, they're, uh, they, they're very simple if you know what you're doing. So if you just uh, start with a circle like this, uh, let's uh, rotate it XC on the x-axis maybe select this turn on proportional editing and I change this to connected only and maybe turn on sharp uh, you can have something like that and then can turn on for proportional editing and delete at the bottom vertices then extrude down like that now if you have something like that uh, make sure your cursor is in the middle like that and then rotate 45 degrees or negative 45 degrees like that you can delete uh, this side and I turn on the mirror modifier on the X and Y now if I select this edge loop hit it extrude and make sure you have on clip clipping turned on now we can just 
have something like that, uh, do the same on this side. Hit extrude and drag uh, to that side. And uh, scale it on the Y axis. You can see all these te techniques in the time lapse. How I use them in the time lapse. Let me turn on the clipping for now. And I'll just select this. Hit, hit extrude. Then you have the axe like that. Then these middle parts should also be deleted. Have, yeah, have your arc. Like so, flattened as well. And uh, basically, that's how I did uh, this. this uh, to get uh, these lines here, uh, these lines here, all you have to do is just select one art like that and don't have to select this bottom part shift D P uh, to separate it into its own object now you can either apply the modifiers or just get rid of them and then convert this into a curve object then under profiles under geometry uh, you can use a custom bevel profile Shade smooth and uh, choose whatever preset. This is not how I did it in uh, in, in this version, but uh, yeah, this is I guess another way to do it. This I think this is a much faster way to do it than uh, what I did in the time lapse. But uh, uh, the one I did in the time lapse is you have more control over your design uh, than what you have here in the this one. Let me, then you can convert this to a mesh. Before you convert this, you can first look at uh, how large uh, this is taking up and reduce that, or you change the profile while you're looking at how the final loop would be. And uh, again, you can use the mirror modifier on top of this, turn on bisect and uh, flip yeah, to get those aligned all you left to do is add in some materials and you're good to go uh, again if you want to watch the entire process or if you, if you want to download the project files you can just find them on my patreon page or cg trader account links are going to be in the description anyway that's it uh, you can watch the entire process on my second channel blender templates and uh, yeah thanks for watching